In this video, we're going to demonstrate performing the Raynaud study using the Unetics infrared temperature sensor. The problem of other methods of performing this exam is that they involve handling the digits after the ice water immersion. With the Unetics temperature sensor, the hand is not touched by other hands or room temperature sensors or cuffs. And make sure you use your gun to check the temperature of that water. It should be right around 40 degrees before you begin your examination. Next, take the patient's hand and place the sensor about half an inch away from the digit. Press the button, hold for two seconds, and then go to the next digit. Press and hold, press and hold, press and hold, press and hold. Then take the patient's hand, immerse it in the ice water bath, fully up to the wrist. Typically, this is done using both hands, but for studio reasons, we're demonstrating this on the patient's right hand only. After the period of immersion is up, have the patient remove his hand from the ice water bath and gently pat it dry. You do not want to rub this as the friction from rubbing temperature sensor. You can see the difference here, 56 versus 79, 55 versus 78. 58 versus 73, 59 versus 73, and 58 versus 72. What we're looking for is how long it takes the patient to recover to pre-immersion temperatures. In patients that have a normally operating system, there will be a compensatory effect after the hand is removed from the ice water bath. A signal will be sent to vasodilate the arteries to flow warmth back into the hand, and frequently you'll see temperatures above baseline in as little as five or 10 minutes. That would be considered a normal study. For a study to be considered a true Raynaud's case, you will not see temperatures back to baseline for over 20 minutes. Wait five minutes and repeat the procedure, and repeat if necessary at 10, 15, or 20 minute intervals until the baseline temperatures are achieved or exceeded.